I invited her to my show, and then I saw her say some ugly things online. Those comments really shook me. Coming up on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show. The group as a whole were not there for me. I had no idea that what I did yeah. caused so much damage. Mother's Day should be acknowledged. You love my mother. The will to be together is not lost. If and when that does happen, we will be the ones to say, listen, yeah. we've decided to part ways. Hi, 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 hi. Some of the ladies, some of the ladies, some of them are more social than others. So some of them mingled, some of them didn't. It is what it is. Hell yeah, we're going to Cobble. What is it Corbell. called? Corbell. Corbell. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce uh. it. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show starts right now. Erica opened up to all the ladies at Anna Marie's lunch. Erica got really emotional. I went through something very tough recently. I pulled myself out of it. Things are good. But when I look at it on the other side, I think I was disappointed that certain people, and I would say that as a, the group as a whole, were not there for me. You know, I'm fighting about my life, things that I know. I see it portrayed a different way. And to see people that I know buy into that. I think you don't have the compassion because you don't want the compassion to seem like you're guilty. I'm not guilty. But don't you think there might be a story that's right versus the law? No. Instead of saying, hold on a second, I actually know her. But some people wanted to believe it. I know. They really did. That's the difference. Thanks for saying that. I appreciate you saying that because I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that what I did. Yeah. I don't trust that 100% of what you've told us is the truth. I think that we have heard stories that to me don't add up. I mean, how do you have a business and not know? It seems like she must know this. I was gonna do so much and cause so much damage in her life. So I apologize. I am apologizing to Erica because I think I caused her a lot of hurt. Thank you, I appreciate you acknowledging that, thank you. Of anyone, I think you were hurt the most by Sutton. I think so. So probably getting that apology. It means a lot because I know it's not given out easily and she probably doesn't want to apologize to me, especially after seeing this interview. Is there something you're not telling us? Why aren't you wearing it? Why should the God, like, Kyle, you are such a much better woman than I am because I would have snatched that bitch ball. But I was grateful for that. We've seen Erica like this whole season different. So finally, it's like we've gotten there. Yeah. And I think I was, I was finally at a place with her where I could truly apologize. And I just want to be included and let her know that I really mean it. I'm really. Sorry. Sorry. You know, I think Sutton has these moments where she'll say things and really lash out and have these moments. I mean, they're probably weighing on her every time she hears you vindicated. She's thinking, wow, and I was coming in so hot. I've never wanted to see her fail. I've always wanted to see her succeed. And I want her to know that and really believe that. So where are you at with Sutton today? Today's a good day. I mean, it's not, look, it I- It was. It was. <laughs> It was good, and I invited her to my show, and then I saw her say some pretty, like, ugly things online, and I just, it hurt my feelings. Someone brought up the ticket price of my show, and the guy who was interviewing her said it was $7, and it was, somebody else chimed in, well, no, I think it was one. Oh, I think it's one. Well, I, can, I think I can take us all. It was dirty. Those comments really shook me, especially you're making this great comeback, and... It's like, you know, when she has these events at her store, we all show up and we support her and buy things. So in hearing that, I was like, gosh, that's... Especially when I had texted her and invited her and it was all good. And then I turned to this interview and then, well, I think I can switch, you know, that's bullshit. This is like, you are just really trying your hardest to be mean right now. You know, a lot of the difficulty that I had with PK over the last couple of years, especially post home invasion, was that he wasn't physically around. And, you know, when we worked through our issues and we really decided to press reset and come together, it was great. Um, and so we were in a much better place. That said, 
Mother's Day was coming up, best day of the year as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to be back as soon as I can. In this particular deal, I have to be here. The truth be told, baby, Mother's Day, it was never really a big thing in England. Listen, Mother's Day should be acknowledged. You're not my mother. It was a little tongue in cheek, yeah. but it was also a little bit like, not the most, you know. Right, not sweet. at the right time. No, and, and you know, him being away also, it's a little bit of a trigger. How is your relationship today? So there's been some recent rumors online that Pika I and I are separated and Pika and I immediately put out a statement, joint statement together, um, which you would think would kind of quell the rumors, but- It hasn't? I don't really know. Do you really know where know. it came from? How would I ever know? How would I ever know, right. you know? Um, but you know, listen, we're no strangers to these things. I would think that at the point that you put out a statement, it's good enough. Um, Do you think it's based on that there was the trailer that they were talking about your marriage? You don't understand the severity of the PTSD? There are elements I understand. There are also elements I consider more obnoxious. I don't really spend much time thinking of the origin of these things because it's like going down a rabbit hole. It could be anywhere, anyone. The rumors are false. Um, PK and I, we have had our struggles and we've worked through them. And we've been through a lot. And, um, you know, we can, as a married couple, have our moments that are, were really great and moments that we're working through something. And I think that most married people are gonna face challenges. And I think that, you know, Pika and I are good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be great, good. Um, please God. And if that isn't the case, then at least we will be the ones to say, listen, yeah. we've decided to part ways. I've been in a relationship for 20 years. It's not easy. and. I think those relations should be celebrated. Like you've been together with PK a long time and whenever people break up, like they should celebrate that as a successful relationship. I mean, people, if we were together that long, I mean, I sure know that I put a lot of effort into my marriage and it's not always smooth. And for anyone to just assume that it is, either is not in a healthy relationship or is not in one and can easily judge. I love PK very much. PK loves me. There's a lot of love there. There's two beautiful children. Um, you know, and I think sometimes people that maybe don't work, um, you know, it's for a whole host of reasons. PK and I, we, we didn't get there. We didn't get there in the past. We're not there now. Um, I'd like to believe we won't get there, but you know, I can tell you that there is no catastrophic event. No one has done something. You know, this is um, working through things that you, I think, like I said, I think it would be very normal for couples who have experienced something like we have. And the love is not lost. The passion is not lost. The, the will to be together is not lost. So, you know, and if and when, you know, that does happen, which I would like to think it won't <laughs> and, and wouldn't. But, you know, it, it's, it's not gonna be rumor and hearsay. Yeah. I think that we will be the ones that are saying, you know, sure. we've decided not to be together. So. Tell us about the champagne and diamonds brunch you hosted. Oh, it was so fun. I don't even care if the other ladies had fun or not. I had fun. Hi, 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 hi. I love hosting. Like I love that I got to have all my friends there and like some of the ladies, some of the ladies, some of them are more social than others. So some of them mingled, some of them didn't, it is what it is. But I just loved having the ladies in my space, you know, so they could kind of see a little bit of my life and Wiley's world. Hell yeah, we're going to <laughs> Cobble. What is it called? Corbell. Corbell. <laughs> Y'all can go drink Corbell. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna drink that stuff. I grew up on Corbell. I mean, I grew up on it, but I, that's what we could afford. I don't even know how to pronounce uh, it. We're in my house. I don't want negative energy in my house. This is where my family is. This is my happy place. I don't want negative energy here. And were you nervous about hosting the ladies? No, I entertain 
<laughs> Very high profile people. I was not worried about the ladies. Lorianne, she does Chrissy and John. She does Chris Brown. She does Drake. She does everybody's party. So like I had zero concerns.